Here is my Makey Makey and a uh, battery operated set of LEDs. Now you, when you go to buy these, I got this on Amazon for two, three dollars. I forget what exactly. I can give you the link if you ask me. Uh, what I've done is I've cut off a piece uh, like five LEDs on it. The LED, when you go shopping for it though, and you want to look, uh, you need to look for the pack that is run by uh, the LEDs that have a pack of two or three AA or AAA batteries in it. That means it'll, it can be run by three to five volts because that's all that the Makey Makey is going to output. If you find something that's like a 12 volt thing, uh, plug in, converts down, that's not going to work. And that's partly why they're so inexpensive is because they only run by two or three um, batteries. So how I've got them hooked up, well, the first thing I had to do when I cut it off, um, this looks like, you know, bare copper, which it can't be. Otherwise, it would be touching and shorting and you'd be touching it. Um, is you have to sand off some of the coating at the ends of the wires so you can make some connections to the alligator clips. You could also try burning it off with a flame. Sometimes you burn too much and actually burn the copper away. So things to be careful of, but I just sanded uh, them off. Now, how I've got them plugged in, one, I've got one wire going to ground to the LEDs, and the other wire, this lime green, is actually hooked up to key out, which will send a uh, power through here when any of the keys are pressed. So space key, up arrow, down arrow, right arrow, as opposed to MS out, which is mouse out. Um, if you want to have it do, you know, shine out, uh, send signal uh, when you press the mouse key, that's fine. Use that. But I used a uh, key out. And then, you know, the makey makey typical thing, I have it plugged into some um, up arrow, down arrow, right arrow, onto some things. And it's hooked up to a music program. Um, so let's see what happens. So I'm holding the ground. And I'm going to press one of the keys and obviously it's making music but that's just to, that was just a uh, to see that actually something's happening and then I'll press the other one and press another one so anytime I'm pressing a key then the Mickey Mickey is sending a voltage through the lime green wire and lighting up the LEDs now, there's one thing you do have to pay attention to with LEDs, is they are directional, as in you got to put the positive on the proper side. If it's not working and you think it should be, just switch your alligator clips. You might just you might not have found the right direction for them. Um, hey, look, it doesn't work unless I have ground pressed. Yay, remember that? Okay. Um, how to test these also, you would always want to have some watch batteries hanging around. Uh, CR 2032s is what I, I tend to use. Use whatever size you want. But they are three, uh, three volts. And so you use them to, you know, touch between and let's see if I can do this without taking it all apart. Just barely, see? And they light up. Two should just make it a little bit brighter. Harder for me to handle. Boom. Much brighter. Okay. Um, to test which one is the positive, which one's negative. Because on the back of the watch battery, not sure you can see, it has a positive. Which means the front is the negative. So that's how you test. That's how you cut. So again, buy some cheap LEDs that are run by two or three AA, AAA batteries. Cut some off. Sand or melt the coating off. Uh, so you can make connections to your alligator clips. Make sure you find the positive side. Hook that to the key out or the mouse out if you want. And hook the other side to ground. And so then anytime in your program when you press a, a uh, where my gray go? When you press a key, it's going to light up and do whatever else you've told it to do. Good? Good.